What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to turn C routes into post routes. Trust me, you will not want to miss this one. What's going on everyone, welcome to a new video. I am so excited to finally share this with you guys. I literally think this could be, no exaggeration, the tip of the year. But before I get into it, I did want to say if you enjoy the content and would like to see more in the future, it would really mean a lot if you subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a comment at the end of the video and let me know what you guys think could be the best way to implement this concept in Madden 18. But without further ado, turning C routes into post routes, how on earth are we going to do that? So. We're going to use Z Spot and Go from the Carolina Panthers playbook, Gun Bunch Week here. And we're going to be turning Alshon's route into a post route. But before we get into that, let's go over kind of the fundamentals and how this is possible. So it combines the usage of two different features in the game. It combines Playmaker along with Target Passing. Yes, Target Passing, the feature that pretty much nobody uses. But first, let's go over just the basics of Playmaker if you don't know. Playmaker gives you control over the nearest receiver to your quarterback by using the right analog stick. You can direct him like I just directed Torrey Smith to go over the middle of the field right there. And so you can tell them where you want him to run. And so if I roll to the left, I'll get probably a Jai. If I roll right, I'll probably get Zach Ertz. So that's how Playmaker works. It's the closest receiver to your quarterback. Now, target passing, the way target passing works is that it's going to be whatever receiver is set as your primary receiver is going to be the one that you target pass to. So in this case, Torrey Smith, the route that is red, is going to be the primary receiver. Now, you can set your primary receiver pre-snap to whoever you want, as you can see in the bottom left there. So base stock on this play, Torrey Smith's the primary receiver. So if you bring up target passing, notice how I'm target passing to Torrey Smith on that little stop and go route. Now, the way these things combine is that when you open up target passing and try to playmaker, the proximity thing goes out of the window. When you have target passing open in playmaker, you're going to playmaker whatever receiver you're trying to target pass to. It doesn't matter how far downfield they are, doesn't matter where they're at, that's the receiver you will be target passing to. So what does this mean? This means you get to pick which receiver by setting your primary, who you want to target pass to. So this also means you get to pick who you can playmaker. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and set Alshon Jeffrey as our primary receiver. We're going to open up target passing, input a playmaker command, and then immediately close target passing and to go back to just normal passing, and you'll see what happens. So right here, Alshon running his route, playmaker him over the middle of the field, and now Alshon is running a post route based off of that C route like he started. So let's go back into instant replay. I'll kind of walk you through exactly the timing. So I'm just going to let him run his route, and right before he would cut to the corner, all you do is literally, if you spend 10 minutes in practice mode, it's really easy. You'll get the muscle memory down. All it is is you're pressing left trigger before and after you input a playmaker command. So in this case, I press left trigger, playmaker him to the right. I just throw my right stick, you know, 90 degrees to the right. And then immediately after that, close target passing. So it's left trigger, right analog stick, right, left trigger again. And you're going to have a playmaker, essentially an S post over the middle of the field now that I just created out of Z spot and go with that C route. This can be done. Like I said, I'll go ahead and show you guys this against a normal defense now, but it can be done out of any play. You can use any routes because of the fact that it's based off of who you're target passing to and you can set who you want to target pass to. Uh, you can do it to any route on any play. And so I'll go ahead and show you guys this against a random zone coverage just because, you know, S posts are usually good against zone. And say you want to run a concept like this. So normally playmakering, you'd be playmakering Torrey Smith most of the time and, and maybe Jay Ajayi if you like rolled left. But you would never, you know, playmaker Alshon Jeffrey or Nelson Aguilar on this play. But what you're going to see, drop back to pass, playmaker over the middle of the field throw just like an s post right over the middle of the field c route turns into a post route so guys this concept the the possible that the reason it's so exciting is the possibilities are literally endless you can just take whatever routes you want and turn them the creativity is really what's exciting is you can get creative with it and pretty much get whatever route you want out of whatever formation you want this is literally just scratching the surface the tip of the iceberg right there i didn't even get to playmaker him but it's literally just the the, pos the the reason it's so exciting, just the possibilities are endless. I know I keep saying that, but you know, I, I really think that this is going to breathe some new life right there. Uh, the block shed got to me, but just the, the creativity that can come with this. And, and, you know, I just jumped to the first thing I thought of, which was, you know, turning C routes into S posts and out of gun bunch. But 
you know, there's going to be so many more little obscure things out of random formations that people find. I'm sure people will find stuff that's even more effective than what I'm doing right now with it. Um, I'm sure people will find better ways to use it than I do, but it's just really, really exciting, and I think it could be a super cool thing just going forward for the rest of Madden 18 and, and just kind of mix things up and allow people to be creative and run what they want on offense. But I'll definitely be doing a lot more content around this concept on my channel. Uh, Lights and I will also be doing a lot of content around it on MaddenDaily.com. We're actually giving a one-day free premium trial right now. So if you sign up for the free trial, you'll get all premium content on the website for free for one day. And then from there, you can decide if you want to subscribe and get, you know, all the premium content on the site along with everything new that comes out. Uh, you can do that. If not, if you just want to subscribe and, and look at what's on the site and it's not for you and cancel, that's fine as well. But um, I just wanted to say that's something that we're going to do going forward. And it's just it's just really exciting. I know I keep saying that it's just really exciting, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, leave that comment. Let me know what you guys think could be the most effective way to use this concept going forward in Madden 18. If you have an idea right now, if you want to go into practice mode and lab it a little bit and, and let me know, just let me know. I think it's really, really cool. But until next time, guys, take it easy.